Please don't tell me you're still gaming on this. Yeah, this is my gaming setup, man. Have you not heard of a laptop, though? What, like one of those big bulky gaming laptop no, things? No, 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 no. I'm talking about this kind of laptop. That's not a gaming laptop. <laughs> not technically, but can most definitely game. All jokes aside, this should be really fun to check out. Honestly, next time somebody is saying they're in the market for a new laptop, send them this video because I think this is basically the all-in-one package. Really lightweight, weighs 1.4 kilograms. And then this, if I'm not mistaken, is our fairly small 90-watt USB-C, yes, power brick. Really nice to see, no proprietary cables here. Basically, you don't even need to use them. You can use any USB-C power bank that puts out over 60 watts and it will charge your laptop. And here it is. HP logo on the front there. This is the silver variant. Let's quickly go over the IO. On the left-hand side, micro SD, full-size USB-A, microphone, headphone combi. On this side, two USB-C ports. Both are available for power delivery, full-size HDMI, great stuff. And then another USB-A port. Really, really simple. And I think that is the key with the whole of this laptop. Simplicity, but this thing can basically do anything you throw at it, and that is the kicker. To me, it is a very familiar sight. Now, if I turn this one on, this is because HP have sent this out and sponsored this video, it should give me the Windows setup. Or select the accessibility icon in the bottom corner. Because, and yes, here is one we prepared earlier. We've had this in the studio now for about two months, and I think this is my laptop of the year, and this video is gonna explain to you guys why. And I honestly think what we'll show you in this video will blow you away, especially for the price point. I will leave all the links below that like button for you guys. The first thing that I use is the fingerprint reader because it has one built in. As you can see, straight on like that. Really nice, quick and easy. Now the trackpad next to that fingerprint reader is of a decent size and it works really, really well for a Windows machine. It is basically the same size as my entire hand. Plenty of space for a laptop of this form factor. And that's something that I think we need to bear in mind as the review goes on. This thing is only small. Again, for something that's this thin, the keys have a decent amount of travel and are just mushy enough for long typing on the train. However, keyboards are a subjective thing. This hits all of my boxes. Let's see if we can. Oh, walk in the park. Now, there's four things about this screen and three of them I absolutely love. The first being the resolution. 2880 by 1800 is a great PPI down at this screen size. Just so you're aware, this is a 14 inch display, so the pixels are super, super dense. Now before this video carries on, I wanna play a little game. Let me know in the comment section down below as I reel off the specs of this laptop, how much you think it's worth and how much you would pay for it. Don't cheat and look in the description and I will tell you the price at the end. Carrying on about this display. So we've got a load of pixels crammed into a 14 inch here. What else looks good about it? And yes, it's visual, you can see it. Maybe not over the camera, but yes, this is an OLED. So those blacks are inky black and it's something I love. Once you experience OLED, it is really, really hard to go back. So this, no, doesn't look like a gaming laptop. It's not screaming at you, but if I scroll down here and click on the refresh rate here, you can see that we are at 90 Hertz. So this does feel a lot smoother than being down there at 60. And now the one thing I don't like, granted this isn't going to affect a load of people because most people are indoors, is the brightness. We've got 500 nits on here. So yeah, it's more than bright enough for viewing indoors, which is where people are going to be using this mainly. But if you do work in the sun outside, for whatever reason, lucky you, you may struggle to see this screen because it's an OLED. Just above that beautiful screen, we have the camera, which you are currently looking at right now. I would picture guess that a lot of people will be buying a laptop like this to do video calls, sat in Zoom, Microsoft Teams, etc., and this is what you will be looking at, as well as hearing with the inbuilt microphones. Enough of that though, let's talk about the specs. Oh yeah, Wi-Fi 6E built in too. We are looking at an Intel Core i7 right here, 1255 
you. We've got 16 gigs of inbuilt RAM, and we've also got 512 NVMe M.2 SSD. It has a four gig GeForce RTX 2050 inside of it. And no, this thing doesn't look anything remotely like a gaming laptop, does it? We'll get more onto the games later. Now, whilst we're still at the set, it says we've got Bang and Osman audio in here. I have heard the speakers, but you haven't. Give it a bit of volume. I mean, it's clear enough. It sounds better when it's on a table because the speakers are downward firing. Honestly, the speakers are, yeah, they're really not a selling point of this laptop. The specs are and what this thing can actually do. Now, I wanna preface this by saying we are currently not tethered to anything. So we could be anywhere right now. 38,000 feet on an aeroplane, you name it. I've got GTA open here. All of our settings are basically very high. And yeah, we're in 1080p. I think the thing that baffles me most is that this would not have been possible five years ago. You'd have need to have been tethered to a power outlet and have a big bulky device, whereas, I mean, wow. So this is where a couple of weeks ago, this blew me away. Jumping in now to a game of Apex Legends. And as you can see, we are completely maxing out the 90 Hertz refresh rate of this display. So at the moment, as you can see, we are currently hovering around 130 frames per second. So I'll go into the settings now and limit this to the refresh of the screen. Now, one thing I would like to mention is I just cannot get over how squeaky smooth this gameplay is, is the fact that this cannot withstand gaming like this for long periods of time due to its battery. Now, as you can hear, if I stay quiet, the fans are barely ramping up and we've been playing GTA and now onto Apex, which is nuts. I thought these things will be turboing through the roof. This is not a gaming laptop. It is just incredible that it can run these games at this form factor powered by USB-C and that is another thing I really like you've got a USB-C power bank in your bag you're out for a full day it will keep this thing topped up and then some so laptops are something that we are wanting to cover more of in the future so if there's any that have caught your eye let us know in the comment section down below oh and yeah I didn't forget the price of this thing currently stands at £1,099 however I have seen it drop below the 1k mark which is absolutely incredible for what you're getting here remember just for that screen OLED 90 Hertz you should be paying a premium and this isn't a premium price tag for what this thing can do. My name's been Alex, this has been Techflow, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.